Okay, so I got my EcoFlow Delta 2 and the extra battery. This is about one kilowatt here, another kilowatt here. And I just want to give you my overall impression of the two units. Now, if you were to set this up for the first time, make sure you download the EcoFlow app connect it to the Wi-Fi, sign up, register an account, and before you have even set it up, you should register your warranty. And when you register your warranty, the serial number, there's a barcode in the bottom of the units. So you have to lay the unit down on its side so you can use the cell phone to scan the barcode so it would be difficult to do after you set it up right you, you would have to unplug everything and then and then uh, to do the warranty registration and then you have to lay it on the side so register the unit first before you continue to do the rest of the setup now you have to know where you want to put this because with the extra battery, you have to connect this big cable here. This is like eight gauge and it's very stiff. So it doesn't allow you to move this unit too much because if you move it, if you drop something on the connector here, you can damage the connector and then the whole thing may not work too well after that. And yeah, so you have to allow for the, the fan, some space between the two of them so it can properly cool the batteries. With the extra battery, there's no cooling fan, so on this side here, you don't have a problem. In the back, you have to allow for some space. I would connect whatever cable you need to connect First, you hook it up to the back because it's difficult to pull out the unit with this big cable attached. The AC connections are in the back and uh, some of the 12 volt, the solar input is in the back. So I would hook up all those wires first so you, you have access to the charging. And you have these like barrel connectors right you won't be able to see what's in the back unless you want to pull this out so make the connections first and, and then lay the wires somewhere accessible so um yeah so that's what i would recommend and some of the quirky things is uh, with the extra battery. You cannot take this out and bring it to your solar panels to have it charge. You have to charge the two units together. So yeah, that's, that's just the way it works. And uh, if you were to use this for like uh, to back up your gas or your gas boiler or your gas furnace, make sure that you have a ground because this unit here has a AC that is uh, has an open ground. So if the connection that you make to your gas boiler is doesn't have a grounding, it might not work properly. So you won't know until you actually plug it in to your gas furnace or boiler and then at that time you might find it doesn't work because there's an open ground. Uh, in my previous video I mentioned how you could possibly get around that problem and the solution is to have a grounding pin connected to and uh, AC outlet, so you have a grounding pin and you connect the wire to the back of this unit here to the 
uh, grounding hole there for the receptacle, then you have a proper grounding so that your furnace can do the flame proofing or flame rectification. For a lot of people, that that's not a problem because they're going camping with this and they don't need a ground, or maybe they do because um, there's no GFCI, so you, you have to be careful when you use this unit in a wet condition and if you're using the AC. Other than that, uh, it seems to be okay. I haven't really used it extensively yet. I just hook it up and I just want to make sure that everything works. And this has a two year warranty. I registered it. This is five year warranty. I, I don't know why this is two years, but the main unit is five year warranty. And like I said, the main thing that you have to be concerned is this cable here and don't, don't break the connector and the placement of your two units. You have to kind of uh, know where you want to put it. Otherwise, when you, once you set up all the wiring, it's difficult to, to move it around. All right, so uh, that's my first impression and suggestions for people who just got these units. I got this at about $800, and of course the sales tax, it was on sale. This one was $650, again, that doesn't include the sales tax. So it's $1,500, $1,600. I hope it will give me many years of good service. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries, so they have a good uh, longevity. All right, so uh, that's all for now. Have a good night.